nothing particularly far. I just essentially take a sip. Oh, it's like, they drop it down. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good too. So just put them under your tongue and let them dissolve for a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so looking at your face, you're generally, you're pretty symmetric. You do have a little bit of asymmetry in your cheeks where you can see that your right cheek is a little flatter, same thing with the jawline compared to your left cheek, which is a little bit more pronounced, a little bit more rounder. But this is very normal. Everybody has some degree of facial asymmetry. I also see it in your lips, but the most important thing with you is that your facial changes that are mostly related to your body mass, your BMI, mm -hmm. are pretty even where you have a little bit of volume loss under your eyes bilaterally. Um, and this can be related to a lot of things. For you, it's definitely your body mass and all of your lifting. But some people, it could be the way they, way they sleep, um, dietary and like lifestyle, like yo-yo dieting, where you're gaining weight and losing weight plays a big role in the way the face ages. Um, and the way you sleep, if you're sleeping on the same side every single night, or some people that sleep like face down, yeah. <laughs> it wreaks havoc on your image like long term because you just don't age well. So for you, it's pretty clear what we need to do. Um, we're gonna be injecting a little bit of dermal filler in your mid face region. So that's like here, mm -hmm. and then also a little bit in your chin, and you'll see why when we turn to your profile yeah. that your chin could just use a little bit of help in terms of projection. Okay. So let's go ahead and look here. This is your right cheek, which has a little bit less volume loss than your left cheek because you can really see something what we call the OG curve is not where it should be. You have a little bit of flatness in your cheek. This should be a really nice, smooth, like an S-like curve. Okay. And because of your volume loss, you become a little bit flat there. Um, so you have more volume loss on your left side compared to your right side. Totally. And even here, you can see the chin is just a little weak, yeah. and the jawline could use a little bit of help and too. And I don't even like fully clench my, I don't put my teeth together, it's always like hanging. Oh, so it's okay. even more so when I... Interesting. Interesting. Which yeah. I've just done as a, um, as a response to that. Gotcha. That my chin is. Gotcha. So yeah, and we could, we could talk about maybe a little bit of work in your jawline, but I tend to be a conservative injector where we want to do things in a stepwise manner. That's how we always get the most natural looking results. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the results are always intended to be totally natural looking, totally subtle. So when you see yourself after the treatment, you're not gonna be like, oh my God, yeah. what did I do to yeah. my face? It's just gonna, you're just gonna look well rested and refreshed. You know, yeah. like you went to Hawaii for two days. <laughs> <laughs> and again, here we go, we can really see the jawline or the chin there, how we can yeah. use a little bit more um, strength and a little bit of projection. And you'll be surprised to see how big of an impact that it really does take. That's what I was wondering too, if just doing that will make the jaw even more. A little bit, a little bit. Here, the corner of the jaw, you know, it does take a lot of filler to make a significant improvement. Yeah. So let's just start with your chin today. Yeah, yeah. And here we can see his left side where, you know, we've got significant volume loss there. And just by injecting the cheek, we'll also get great improvements in the under eye as well. Okay. Without putting too much product directly under your with eye. That, support so that the skin doesn't sag as much. Yep, yep. exactly. Yeah. And we might get a subtle improvement in your nasolabial fold as well. Okay. Perfect. And then one other thing we're gonna do there, we're gonna set that little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't, we don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> it's just an inactive little vessel inside your nose and yeah. it's really easy to treat. Some people think I have a booger right there and they're like, oh no. <laughs> they're like, oh you got it. And I'm like, no, it's just my face. And so, appreciate it. Well, at least they were nice enough to like point them <laughs> out. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, what I'm going to have you do is sign the consent form, and then I'm going to give you a little bit of ice. You can start icing your face, and then we'll get started with treatment. Do you numb it all, or does it just numb as it's. I use the ice because numbing cream doesn't really do much for the pinch of the needle. Okay. Um, and you'll be surprised, it's actually not that painful. Like you definitely feel like a little poke, yeah. but after that, um, once I start injecting, the gel has numbing in it. Okay. So from the first injection, the area starts to go numb, and I make sure that the needles stay really nice and sharp, so that when you poke, you really don't feel it so okay. much. Okay. Um, most patients, after they do it, they're like, wow, that like, was super easy. Right. And I think you'll feel the same thing. Okay. But you're a tough guy. Yeah, so I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me grab the consent form. All right, sign my life away. <laughs>
<laughs> what are the emotions right now? What? What are the emotions right now? <sighs> My palms are sweating. I'm nervous. Um, I'm excited. I've been waiting. I've been wanting to do this for for a while now. Yeah, let's just you should be excited. Honestly, I am excited because your image is such an important part of what you do. Totally. And you have my to last face. So I had a photo shoot. It was um, just from my portfolio, but with, it was with Pear Bernal. Mm. And I, um, I showed up, and the first thing my agent says to me is like, "Did you get enough sleep? Yeah. You look tired." And I'm like, "No, I, no, I'm, I'm really well rested. This is just as good as my face gets." Oh no. So yeah. I mean, it's so common. So this location, we're directly below Crunch. Yeah. So what happens is people just like you, they lose weight, they get really lean, and the first thing they say is like, I look so tired, everyone's yeah. asking me if I'm tired all the time, yeah. and what you come in with, like these complaints are super common, yeah. you know, you lose volume just under your eyes, in your mid face, and by just replacing it with a little bit of filler, not a lot, um, you can really make a big impact. And wake up looking well rested every day. It's something that I've had my entire life really, since I was a little kid, I, I've always had bags. I've always had the lines, I've had dark circles because of it too. And then I've always noticed that my chin was, like if I bite down, you can see right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You have a kind of a wide chin, which I like. It's, yeah, it's I like definitely that a masculine feature, but the projection needs to be enhanced. Yeah. All right, right, so here's the consent yeah. form. So when we're doing dermal fillers, and it's no, obviously we're doing this with needles. So whenever we're using needles, there's a risk of soreness at the injection site, bleeding, bruising, swelling, and infection. Um, but, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm gonna clean your skin with a surgical cleanser to make sure we have no issues with infection. And just understanding the underlying anatomy is a great way to avoid some of the other problems like bruising or swelling. Yeah. Um, generally, after this treatment, you can go on with your day, and I do tell my patients just to take it easy. Um, can I work out tomorrow? You can work out, work out tomorrow, okay, um, cool. but just take it easy for today. Yeah. And then there is another risk with fillers, and that would be something called a vessel occlusion. Mm -hmm. It's very low risk, you know, there's safe injecting techniques, so we make sure that we're not injecting the filler directly into a blood vessel, which would block the flow of blood and be very bad. Um, if that were to happen, we have all the tools to reverse it, we can dissolve the filler and make sure that everything's going to be fine. Um, so technically it is a risk. Generally not a problem, but I do always inform my patients about that. Sweet. Okay, so go ahead and sign there. Thank you. How long does it normally last? Um, it's gonna be a, a year. Yeah, a year for the average person. So, so it might be less for me because of my metabolism. With your metabolism and your like strict diet and how yeah. much you work out, I would say it would last less. But there are some people that are super fit and lean that it just it lasts okay. long. So it really varies from person to person. Um, the filler is made out of hyaluronic acid, which is a sugar molecule, yeah. and our body does slowly metabolize it over time. Um, and especially people that do like the ketogenic diet, mm. you know, their body just eats the filler. Okay. So if you do, you know, ketogenic diet, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Just, you exactly. might notice some changes, but you know, again, I've still seen it last in some people. If I cry, it's just a reaction that I get. Okay. My eyes water so easily. You're just extra sensitive. Yeah. If I'm screaming, it's just an involuntary reaction. <laughs> and I'm super tan still because I competed on Saturday uh, for NBA. Southern California was a competition. Won first place and overall, so I got my pro ball. Okay, so keep icing. Now, there's a couple different products that I want to use um, for your chin. I definitely want to use Restylane Lift. Um, okay. That's a really reliable filler anytime that we're trying to add the like, bone structure. Do you mind showing it? Um, for sure. Just so you can see it. I'll get my nails. Please, <laughs> <laughs> your nails are perfect. No, they're, oh god, they're gross. So, um, Rest and Lift is what we're gonna be using in your chin. Okay. This product is really reliable anytime that we want to create bone structure because the particle size of the hyaluronic acid is really large. So as opposed to like pebbles, this one's more like rocks. So it really gives the, the okay. skin a lot of lift and projection. Okay. Um, and it's great for the chin, the cheekbones, yeah. and the jawline. But it won't make it look like puffy? Or no, like, no, it's, like it's a very structured filler. It's okay. very structured. So I'm gonna put um, this in your chin, and we're gonna do a little bit of this in your cheeks. Okay. But you have to remember, 
there is a lot of mobility in our mid face. So we want to use a filler that's also very flexible, which is why I like Restylane Define. Define is a newer product. This one is it moves naturally with your expressions, mm -hmm. and that's why okay. I have this one for the mid. That's what I was curious. About. So yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit with the lift, and then we're gonna finish it off with the define. Okay. Because lift is just gonna give us that projection that we want, mm -hmm. and then define is gonna make it um, like kind of be like the icing on the cake. Okay. Um, this is what I have in my cheeks, and I really like it because when you smile, it doesn't. It moves naturally, yeah. which is really important. Yeah. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Your teeth look good. Thank you. Yeah. Nice and white teeth. <laughs> Especially against his brown ass skin. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. I can only imagine like how tan you were like the actual day of oh. the competition. It's like it's yeah. obscene. It's crazy dark. <laughs> like an oomph alert that been out in the sun too long. Yeah, don't forget to breathe. Just close your mouth a little bit. Here, we're gonna make the first injection. Mm -hmm. You look okay. Yeah, you change really. No, I want. Mm -mm. There, to be honest. Mm -mm. How was that? It's like not so bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good, turn this way. Breaking a little quick. It's not that painful, it just felt weird. It feels red, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing I forgot to leave is a squeezy ball. Oh, I got my little. Okay, your ice bags. <laughs> I got squeezy balls. <laughs> Do you want to use stress ball? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to laugh over there. Get around your little hook. Good job. It's weird because I can hear it. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. So there's like little some, um, the extrusion of the filler going mm -hmm. through can sometimes make a couple interesting noises. Do you only do the front or does it go here too? We don't put it, we don't go low mm. because then you'll have projection downward. We want projection so this way. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's a little more comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was seriously like not bad at all. No, it's not bad. And we don't really need to manipulate this filler too much afterwards. Because if you do, it can kind of lose its effect. Mm. So you just want to be really gentle with it. Mm -hmm. And especially like tonight when you're washing your face or when you're sleeping, just make sure you sleep on your back and just be really gentle. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to set? Uh, like a week. Mm. After a couple of days, it's pretty much set in, but I would say a week just mm -hmm. to be safe. Good. Yeah, totally, totally natural looking, and that's exactly what we want to do for today. Okay, we're going to make the first injection. Go ahead and close your eyes. Good job. Okay, so we're going to go to the side that has more volume loss, which is mm -hmm. why I wanted to put a little drop of the lift there. Okay. But the define will be perfect for this. Yes. Better already. How was that compared to the chin? Um, it was about the same, but the fact that it's close to my eye is just psychologically like a little more nerve wracking. There's going to be tiny little, like, um, little tiny baby injections just so we can get uh, a little bit closer to your eye. Is that the tear trough? Like the tear, this is like the tear trough as opposed to the cheek. Okay. Go ahead and look up for me. And just keep looking up. We're going to do a little poke. A little poke. 
On the home stretch, because your right side isn't is going to be easier than your left side. That right side looks on my side, my right. Yeah, looks so much better. Looks lifted. You lift. <laughs> but keep your facial expressions calm. Okay. Sure. Because I don't want um we don't want anything that could like potentially move. Move. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close your eyes. This cheek, yeah. if you see it from this angle, is perfect now. Yeah. Now it has a nice little curve and it goes in like it's supposed to. Yeah, yeah I probably need to get that. I stayed up a lot <laughs> Really? Even after seeing this, you... Yeah, it, it, looks, looks, it looks that much better. The apex of this cheek is just naturally a little higher. Like, did you ever notice you have this little, like, just peak? I can give that to you on that side if you want it, but... What do you think? I'll show you in a mirror. So. Okay. Because I have um, just this much left. Mm -hmm. You know, that was going to use to kind of touch up your under eye. Yeah. Or I can save it and we can use it for a touch up in about two weeks. Sometimes that's nice because once everything's like settled in and you know everything's fully healed. I mean, well, let's do that. You want to do that? Okay. Yeah. Because I'm happy with the way that it looks today. Mm -hmm. This under eye doesn't really need as much as that under eye did. Okay. Um, so I love to have that little safety net where you come yeah. back. We just do like a little tiny touch up to make it perfect. Yeah. And then it's good. Yeah. And when the swelling goes down from the pizza it's... I ate last night, <laughs> the whole pizza I ate last night. So I was like, wait, the whole thing? Like, not just like three slices? <laughs> what kind of pizza was it? It was Domino's. Like $8 pizza. <laughs> so, no more injections. You did great. Really? Everything no looks more? really good. No more. Oh, shit. Okay. No more. We're just going to save that a little bit so we can do a touch up. Um, and then we'll do a little easier. Okay. Give me that vein. Yeah. So great. Yeah. <laughs> It's so nuts. It's good, right? Yeah. So, and I see some areas where I could definitely add a little bit more, but you know, right. for me, doing everything in steps and doing it slowly yeah. is really the best oh way God, to get the, the best. Chins. Yeah, the chin's good. Yay! It's <laughs> exactly what I want to see. Yay! <laughs> so what we'll do is I'll have you follow up with me in two weeks. Um, if you need anything in the meantime, you know, of course, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm just a phone call away. Um, you know, it's going to be totally normal to have some soreness, a little tiny bruise on that one cheek, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, after the treatment, you should not have any pain. Um, like, achiness and soreness is normal, but nothing should be painful. So yeah. if you do have any pain, just let me know. Okay. okay. So right now, we're going to go to the next room. We're going to turn the laser on, and we're going to zap that guy. Look at, look at this. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> just, just, that's, like, that's okay. I cleaned it. Before the yeah. <laughs> you just genuinely have crazy smile. Yeah. <laughs> Especially at work too. I'm gonna have to be like, awesome. like hey, welcome to the district. Can you drink? On the rocks. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do you drink alcohol? Um, not when I'm like in contest prep. Gotcha. I have it for the last three and a half months or so. Really? Like, like not even like that's one. I mean, I've had a shot here. And there. It's usually when I'm really busy at work and I'm about to lose it. I'm like, I You're like, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. I mean, I used to be bartender, so. This one is like a strong zap with a little hot flash. I'm going to put this on. It's going to bust. I'm going to put some gel. It's just a capsule. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this some take generally takes at least two treatments. Okay, so just come back and see. Oh, your left down. They pull you up and down.
Response that generally that we're looking for when we're treating uh, yeah. the vessels. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Life contract. <laughs> So I also have a channel, it is Skincare with Ross, formerly Men's Skincare with Ross, where I talk about men's grooming, style, tutorials, product demos, all things men beauty related. So check it out, Skincare with Ross, and I'll see you there. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you got something useful out of seeing the whole experience from start to finish. I want to make this a new part of my channel where I really go into detail about things that I do for myself as far as like skincare and body care, whether it's like tanning, Botox, anything like that. I want to show you since a, a big theme of my channel is being transparent, open, and honest about uh, myself and my life. I think it'll be useful for you guys also to see what this is about, what it's like. I'll put a link for Ross's channel too, check that out. He's got a lot of great content on there. Um, again, this was Next Health in West Hollywood. And uh, yeah, stay tuned, like, subscribe, please share if you found this useful. And um, stay tuned to my channel, I'll have a lot more content for you. All right, bye.